Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me. So for this video, I, it was requested by a past student of mine that I had in grade nine, I think. Yeah. So it says it's from the January 2021 and it's question 8B. It says the function f and g are defined as follows. f to g is 5 minus x and g of x is x squared minus 2x minus 1. So the instruction says the graph of f of x and the g of x meet at a point m and n. You have to determine the coordinates of the points m and n. So right here, guys, you see you have a linear, which is a 5 minus x, and you have a quadratic. So this is basically... A linear and a non-linear questions you're, you're asked to solve and in this method guys you can solve it using systems of equation or simultaneous equation method and as you know for simultaneous equation I'm gonna put SE so simultaneous equation you have several methods you have the elimination method elimination method you have the substitution method You have the equated method, and the method is very similar to the substitution, and you have the graphical method. All right, so you have several ways of doing this, guys. So when you're given a quadratic, I'm just going to make a simple sketch here. When you're given a quadratic, and it's positive, and it touches the x-axis, so I'm going to have to draw another graph. So when you're given a quadratic, guys, and a linear, so this is a quadratic in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. It's a smiley face. In this case, you know the a value is positive. So when you're given a quadratic and you're given a linear. So the linear, in this case, it's a negative. So the slope is negative because it says um, f of x is equal to 5 minus x. So right here you know the slope is negative, so it'll be pointing down this way. All right, so if you're gonna be pointing like that, guys, you know you're gonna have two points where they meet, it's gonna meet here and it's gonna meet here. But with that said, that's what your graphical representation would look like. In a CXC exam, you don't have a you may have a graph paper, you can actually sketch this out and identify the points if you wanna go the graphical method. If you want to go the other methods, you're gonna have to show working, all right? So you know that for the graphical method, you're going to have to find your table of values, pick three critical points or four critical points, then you basically plot your point. If you need me to show you the graphical method, please indicate in the comment section below and I'll definitely do that for you. So with that said, guys, we're going to move in to um, applying the substitution method, which seems to be the most appropriate method. So you're given a linear, so f of x is equal to 5 minus x and g of x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. So for the substitution method, guys, we know that f of x and g of x are all in terms of y. So if you want to, you can redirect that. Say five min y is equal to 5 minus x and y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. Here... The equating method can be used or the substitution method. As I said to you, they're basically the same thing as you make either X or Y the subject and replace it um, where you see. So in the bottom part here, you see that Y is equal to X squared minus 2X minus 1. In the top part, Y is equal to 5 minus X. So what I can do here is to, where I see Y in the second part, I'm going to put the value here. So you basically rewrite, so I said 5 minus x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 1. All right, guys, and from here, we can go ahead and create one quadratic equation from this by bringing the 5 on the opposite side and x on the opposite side. So to do that, we're going to have to move anyone you want to move first. I'm going to move the 5 first. So this 5 is a positive 5. So to cancel this 5, basically subtract 5 from both sides. So you'll have negative x is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 6. So negative 1, negative 5 will give you a negative 6. 
So from here, we're gonna go, now we're gonna bring the x over. So we're gonna add x to both sides. So zero is equal to x squared minus two x plus x minus six. These two can be simplified and give you a negative x minus six, and you have your x squared here. So here, guys, we have a quadratic. To have a, if you have a quadratic, you can solve it using different methods. And I am going to be using the method where you do the factorization. So there, there's a simple way of doing this. I'm going to do the simplest way first. If you want to go to the other route, you can also do that. So for factorization, I'm going to use the AC method. So you basically need two factors of the C, A and C. So A times C says 1 times negative 6 to give you negative 6. You need two factors of negative 6. When you add them, you get a negative 1. And in this case... We are going to be using negative 3 and a positive 2. Okay? So if you don't know how to do the quadratic where you basically find your two, two factors and you put it in the factor, I mean the binomial below, you can go ahead and replace negative 1x with 3x and 2, a positive 2. So you basically say x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Here you go ahead and you do your grouping and you factorize. All right. If you don't know to do um, factorization like this, I have videos here that are very detailed and can help you. So let's go. So between these two, x is common. So it's x minus 3. Between these two terms, a positive 2 is common. So it's going to be x um, minus 3. Again, remember we're solving, so it's going to be equal to zero. My bad. So here we factorize again a second time. So it's x minus 3, and we're left with x plus 2. All right? Equal to zero. So from here, guys, we're going to be solving for x. So equate both of these to zero. So um, x minus 3 is equal to zero. So add 3 to both sides to find x. x is equal to 3 and I want to say or x plus 2 is equal to 0. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides to solve for x. So x is equal to negative 2. Now we have two values of x, guys. And as I mentioned to you on the first image that you need x value here, and you're going to have a y value. You're going to have an x value here. And you're also going to have a y value. So you need two coordinates at the end. All right, so from here, guys, we have the x values. No time for us to find the corresponding y value. So to find the y value, you're going to put these x values into any of these equations. I'll, I'll go for the simplest one to put it in the y is equal to 5 minus x. So when x is equal to 3, what's the value of y? So x equal 3 here. So y is equal to 5 minus 3, and that will be y is equal to 2. So right here, the point, x is 3 and y is 2. That's one point. And the next point, you need to know what's up when x is equal to negative 2, what's the value of y? So y is equal to 5 minus minus 2. Therefore, y is equal to 7. These two negatives will give you a positive. So 5 plus 2 is 7. For this one, the coordinate is x is equal to negative 2. It's going to be negative 2, comma, 7. So these are the two coordinates that they spoke about when they said determine the coordinates of the points m and n. So m and m meet the graph f of x and g of x at two points. So the two points will be 3, 2 and negative 2, 7. I hope this video was useful to you guys and I hope you understand what I did. If you want to see a shorter version of working this question, let me know and I'll definitely do so for you. So I'll see you on my next video. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe and ensure your bell is turned on so you can get all my notifications. See you on the next one.